Peace, peace, peace. This is your brother Monroe Jr. I'm going to be offering my brief commentary right after this quick clip. Peace. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Dad, man. Go! Dad, man. How the came down? I'm out of age time. Come oh, 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 Peace, peace, peace. This is your brother Monroe Jr. Ain't that such a beautiful sight to see? Yellow Beezy with his seed after someone tried to take our brother's life. Shout out, brother. Eight, nine, ten times. Lord have mercy. Brothers and sisters, we don't know who it was. But let us treasure in each other's life because when you hurt one from my community, you not only hurt him, you almost took the life of that man from that child. Look at that baby in that video. Let us think about what we are doing. It's a ripple effect that trickles through our families, when we take the life of one, each one of us, no matter how mad we get with each other, we have to think bigger than our anger and what the impact of our rage as a result of us clapping back at one who has made us mad. We have to think about the effect that that will cost on our community that's a that's a debt that can be repaid when a mother cries out because her son is no longer here when a father cries out because his son is no, no longer here when sisters and brothers cry out because our family is hurting and they no longer have a brother who was once here. Let us think wisely, brothers and sisters, about our emotions. Let us know that each one of us come from the creator. And if we love God, then we should honor one another and settle our conflicts in peace. For peace is the way of the righteous. We are only other than that by circumstance. But we can all survive no matter our situations. I know it's tough. Sometimes our young brothers don't have food to eat. They don't have the capital to provide for their families because of the economic uh, blight that the black community is experiencing right now but like Pac said keep your head up and never allow our struggle never allow our hardship never allow what we are going through to confine us to a death cycle in our communities where we think that that's the only way out is uh, if I survive, but my brother, I have to knock him off because he's hustling. He's uh, intruding on my territory or he's shining too hard. Huh? These factors, we have to disseminate and we have to eradicate from our communities. We have to have a if I have something, my brother has half of it type mentality because when our adversaries come in our community, they don't care for any of us, 
right? So I, I brother Yellow Beezy, man, he survived a death plot. Somebody tried to take our brother's life, but he's still here. The creator has great, great, great purpose for our brother. And may he use his testimony and what he went through to inspire others. Uh, as I said in my previous audio, sometimes our creator will allow things of that nature to happen to slow us down so that he can build us back up in certain areas of our life so that he can grant us more understanding and place us in a certain mind frame about life when we get so close to death itself, right? So, brothers and sisters, let us love one another. Jesus said, love thy neighbor as you love thyself. Well, we reside in the inner cities. A lot of us, some of us stay in uh, suburbs. But hey, man, we have to learn how to treasure in one another and stop the killing. We all we got at the end of the day. This your brother Monroe Jr. I'm signing off. Peace.